four pounders right here. Right about there. Right there. Right there. Two. Whoa. Now we're talking. Oh. Whoa. Now that's what you call a brownie. A real leaper, too. Whoa. Boy, did you see him pound it? Holy mackerel. Man. What a beautiful fish. Look at that guy. Boy, boy, did she wolf the bait. That's a beautiful smallmouth bass. Look at that. Way down there. Get the pliers out. There we go. There we go. Let's get her back in the water. Come on, buddy. Get going. Boy, that was a beautiful smallmouth bass. You know, inline spinners like this are really efficient tools for fishing rivers or flowing water. Right now, Dave Sand and I are going to look at strategies for catching big smallmouth bass, but not only big smallmouth bass, just about any fish that swim in rivers. Straight shafted spinners like the Blue Fox Vibrex have a single blade that rotates on a clevis around a straight wire shaft. Blade choices come in two basic styles. The French blade are moderately wide and produce a good combination of flash and vibration at modest retrieve speeds. They rotate at an angle well away from the wire shaft and the wider the angle of rotation, the shallower the lure runs. In most shallow river conditions, this French bladed spinner is probably your best bet. If you need to fish deeper or faster water, a Blue Fox flash spinner come into play. This willow leaf design rotates faster and tighter. They produce a lot of flash, but less vibration. Willow leaves also have less water resistance than French blades, making them easier to fish deeper when you need to get your spinner down into holes or real fast water. Spinners really excel with fairly straight retrieves that are in the, let's say, the top half of the water column. Uh, you can skirt them over the tops of cover, especially boulders, that you can just actually bang them near the bottom, near rocks. But anytime that you get, oh, near weeds or, or wood, because they don't have a protected hook, you have to kind of keep them up and above. Today we're finding a lot of the uh, bass to be actually around weed beds. As long as we can fish through lanes between the weeds or over the tops of the weeds, we're okay. And we want to just control our retrieve by keeping the rod tip up. If we want to let the spinner go down a little bit, we can slow our retrieve, let the spinner go down, and actually the retrieve is adjustable at all times. It's one of the most universal baits that you can use in river situation for covering a variety of depths. I think the success of this bait for all different species of fish is really based on a couple of different things. Number one is efficiency. It enables you to cover uh, water really quickly, high in the water column, targeting active nice fish. And oh, yeah. it, it works oh, yeah. all over, all over the world for that matter, in fresh water. Because you're fishing the bait high near the surface, a lot of the times you've got a good view of the bait, you can tell exactly when it's going to come right past the cover, and you can sometimes see the fish coming. And that's, that's wild. What you have to do, though, is not panic. When you see them coming for the bait, you have to force yourself, wait, slow down, and actually let them hit it and feel it, and then you set the hook. It's a lot like topwater fishing. You don't want to jump the gun or you'll miss the fish. Oh, there's one. Wolf the bait. That's a beautiful smallmouth bass. 